lot of progress being made in the Annapolis area. As you said, West Street is now open, but as you can see, it is far from business as usual. Experts we talked with advise documenting damages with photos to assist in insurance claims. The city is expediting the building permit process and set up a resource center to help, the, help with that and temporary housing if necessary. We saw it coming. We actually saw it coming. It was coming up this way. Charles Billings is counting his blessings that no one got hurt. The roof is pretty much have to be replaced. The side's going to have to be replaced. All the soffit's going to have to be replaced. The front's going to be replaced. The sign's going to have to be replaced. He and his wife have operated the Sun and Earth Natural Food Store at this location for 26 years. Well, even though you're heavily insured, is there a will to come back? <laughs> yeah, well. The tornado also ravaged the international food market next door. Three inches of water covered the floor. Everything will have to be replaced. Having insurance helps, but quickly rebuilding is a concern. What do you need to get back to where it was? Well, I need the uh, authorities to help us out, to expedite all the permits. Crews had to literally chop away debris blocking roads in the Willanore Estates neighborhood. The once rich canopy of mature trees is gone. It still feels like a, a little bit surreal. Uh, the light, the change in the atmosphere and the general area for having these mature trees that have been here for, you know, decades, just uh, in a matter of seconds, be gone. The city of Annapolis set up a one-stop shop to assist business and homeowners with the steps they need to take to recover when it comes to insurance claims and city permits. Take videos, take photos, don't really move anything because they need to see what's going on, expediting that. In fact, it's my understanding that people will not be even charged for getting a permit. So we're really doing as best we can, as most we can, is getting folks back to where they were before. Cutting through bureaucratic red tape is the number one concern for many business owners. I can promise you this. In about six months you come back, this place will be better than you see it right now. We're back live now. Annapolis and Anne Arundel County declared states of emergency to speed up getting resources. The order remains in effect for seven days. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.